Good afternoon, class. My name is Ronald A. Gonzalez, your TLE teacher for today. Our topic for today is all about ohmmeter scale reading. I have an example of ohmmeter scale. As you can see, the scale of ohmmeter is located in the topmost part of the meter panel. You have noticed a descending order of number from left to right. In practice, reading values always start from zero. Therefore, we will read resistance values from right to left, which is zero to infinity. Since we will read resistance values from right to left, see to it that the gaps between numbers are not equally divided because the scale of ohmmeter is a nonlinear scale. Each scale has a value with respect to each nearest number. Now, let's read the value per line of scale of ohmmeter. From 0 to 2, the value per line is 0 0.2. Each line, you need to add 0 0.2. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, and 2. From 2 to 10, the value per line is 0 0.5. Each line, you need to add 0 0.5. 2, 2.5, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5, and lastly, 10. Next value per line from 10 to 20, the value per line is 1. Each line, you need to add 1, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next value per line, from 20 to 50, the value per line is 2. Each line, you need to add 2 20 22 24 26 28 30 32 34 36 38 40 42 44 46 48 and lastly 50 Next value per line from 50 to 100, the value per line is 5. Each line, you need to add 5. 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and lastly, 100. And the next value per line, from 100 to 200, the value per line is 20. Each line, you need to add 20. For example, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, and 200. And next value per line, from 200 to 500, the value per line is 100. Each line, you need to add 100. For example, 200, 300, 400, and 500. Let us answer and read the following example of ohmmeter scale. By the way, class, if you're going to test the high value of resistance, 
you need to select the multiplier or resistance range using the selector knob. And these are the following multiplier. Times 1, times 10, times 100, times 1K, and lastly, times 10K. I have a formula to get the resistance value. Resistance value is equal to actual reading multiplied by resistance range or the multiplier. For example, the actual reading is 20 ohms multiplied by 10K, 10K ohms, the answer is 200K ohms. By the way class, K means kilo or thousand. Now, let's proceed to the example. Example number one, the pointer pointing in the scale of 50 to 100. The value per line is 5. From 50, each line you need to add 5. 50, 55, 60, 65. Therefore, the actual reading is 65 ohms. Now, let's multiply it to the given range. 65 ohms multiplied by 10 ohms is equal to 650 ohms. 65 ohms multiplied by 100 ohms is equal to 6.5k ohms. 65 ohms multiplied by 1k ohms is equal to 65k ohms. And lastly, 65 ohms is equal multiplied by 10k ohms is equal to 650k ohms. Example number 2. The pointer pointing in the scale of 10 to 20. The value per line is 1. From 10, each line you need to add 1. 10, 11, and lastly 12. So therefore, the actual reading is 12 ohms. Now let's multiply it to the given range. 12 ohms times 10 ohms is equal to 120 ohms. 12 ohms times 100 ohms is equal to 1.2k ohms. And 12 ohms multiplied by 1k ohms is equal to 12k ohms. And lastly, 12 ohms multiplied by 10k ohms is equal to 120k ohms.